Good morning, y'all. So, allergy season is upon us, okay? If you live in Georgia, I'm pretty sure you already feel the pain. So I'm about to make me some tea this morning, and then I have some PR to show y'all, and then I'm gonna show y'all the guest bedroom because we did get the um, bed in, and then <laughs> my husband had to pitch up in the foyer. So I'm gonna show y'all that too. So let's make some tea. So I know it was a few of y'all, who were saying that um, y'all are interested in getting this Meg coffee kettle and 10 out of 10 would recommend. If you're somebody that drinks tea or needs something, you know, for like warm water and stuff, um, I would recommend it. I just need to put these bottles up real quick, y'all. I don't like these to sit out <clears throat> for too long. Anyways, um, I definitely like it, so. <laughs> There's a rhyme or reason that all this stuff is supposed to go up in my cabinet, but the way I'm feeling, I don't care what it go. I've been stuffy all night. But basically, um, here's the little base part I think I showed y'all. Plug this in like so. After each use, you have to make sure you dry this out because something can happen. That's what they say. And if you fill this up, there is a men and max line. The max line should make two cups. The men line should make one. And you literally just, Lord have mercy Jesus. Get with it, baby. Click. That light turns on, and then it'll be ready for your tea. This is broke. Whip send it back. And I think I'm gonna do this one. So we get. I've added um, white mocha creamer in this before, just a, just a splash. Just the job done. But I'm not adding anything today. Splenda, a little stir thing. I got these off of Amazon. I actually got these Splenda packets off of Amazon too, because if you try to buy these in the store, arm, leg, breast, thigh, for no reason. It's literally just sugar. And then the light will turn off when it's ready. All right. Okay, y'all. So I have some. I'm gonna let this. See cool off. Now I will say that I feel like the kettle, the water is hotter in it than it is when it comes out of the curry. Okay, I ain't gonna downplay the curry. The water do be hot, but I feel like the water last is hotter for a longer time out of the kettle. Or maybe it's just me justifying my purchase. I don't know. But anyways, y'all, I have some really cute unboxing to do with y'all. I'm really excited to share this with y'all. <laughs> It's Teddy Blake, New York. Okay, can we get into the packaging really quickly? Teddy Blake so kindly sent me a very cute handbag that I wanna share with y'all today. So let's just go ahead and unbox it. Can 
we get into the packaging. First of all, discover your Teddy Blake designer handbag immediately when you open it up. And then right here on the inside, Teddy Blake New York designer handbags made in Italy luxury leather okay it says each teddy black handbag has been made with you in mind to be an extension of your unique style and flatter your every fashion choice okay so it's the aesthetics of the box y'all already know black and white does it every single time and then we have this very cute very durable dust bag so if you're somebody who you know when you're storing your bags you want to keep them protected out of reach of dust you have your dust bag, but for me, you know, I like to display my handbag. So you, when you walk into the closet, you got all vibe going. Look at that. Somebody, look at that. Love a little black on black action. Okay, so the one thing that immediately caught my eye when I opened this up or caught my senses was the smell of the leather. Okay, so when we talk about that luxury leather, they're giving just that, okay? And then I love that this doesn't have silver hardware. It doesn't have gold hardware. This is kind of almost like a graphite color. Super compact, small, just like I like it. I don't like huge handbags at all. Love that it has a top handle so we could be like, oh, party of two. Yes, thank you. Girl, can you see this at brunch? Cute little black ensemble, yes. Winter, spring summer year-round bag this is very cute so whenever you open it you just want to take these little flaps up like this and it has a little clasp thing y'all ready hello phone wallet hand cream lip gloss and then it also has a crossbody strap y'all an adjustable crossbody strap so you know when you want to kind of just dress it down or if you're going shopping whatever the case may be you can pop that strap on and be hands free so you can smell the candles you know look through the books for your coffee table and then it also comes with a cute little lock and key and you know she's going on display with the rest of the handbag so let me give y'all another close-up and can we say thank you teddy blake so much for sending your girl a new handbag make sure y'all check out the description box they have a sale going on right now but in case you missed the sale there's going to be a coupon code which i'll include across the short screen as well in the description box thank you so much Teddy Blake. okay say hey beanie say good morning <laughs> come here all right i'm gonna show y'all the picture real quick oh she had that all right, y'all. So this is what it looks like up on the wall. Hubby put it up last night. I'm super in love with it. So I know um, one of the videos I think where I showed this, somebody had commented and said that it matches the wall. On camera, it may actually come off that way, y'all, but my walls are actually gray. It's Sherwin-Williams first start. It's a very light gray that sometimes comes off as white. Um, but they're actually gray. This picture itself is white and like a tan color. So I don't know if it's actually picking up on camera at all, but it's literally not the same color as my wall. Even if it was, that's my business and I like it. Um, anyways, so I told y'all that I got the horseshoe coffee table. So Beanie, can I put you down? Can I put you down and you go play? Hmm? Look at her. She finna get into something, y'all. She climbed up every stair yesterday granted we were behind her you know watching her go through but yeah she cro she climbed up all so the horseshoe table will probably come i want to say to about right here and i seen either on instagram or pinterest someone have a coffee table you know the kind not a coffee table entryway table you know the kind where you can put the um, ottomans or baskets up under it and their picture came down below it and i was like you know what they might be onto something. So we're gonna try to see what it looks like when it comes. I told y'all I was getting black vases to style over there. Um, I have the architectural design book that goes over here with that cream like wooden bowl thing and those wooden white balls. So I'm planning on doing all of that. And then you'll also know that I got these flowers, not the pink ones, those are from Mackenzie's room. These flowers to go in that black vase. So the black vase sits up about like that. You'll be able to see them up like that. So I'm, I'm thinking that's gonna look cute right there. Um, and then if not, I'm just showing y'all all my business, honey. 
if not if that table doesn't go right there then it will obviously go over there circle dining room table chairs and then we'll be done over there but yeah this is what it looks like from this angle if we're move this ring light but this is kind of what it's looking like from this angle i love it this is the perfect size in this hallway takes up that space you know the foyer is wide enough to where nothing right there is going to block you from being able to freely walk through and it just you know continues on the light airy you know vibes in the in the room but i definitely think um styling some black right here with it is gonna make that pop a little bit more and then y'all also had seen when we were trying to figure out if we couldn't fit that entryway table right there because it's too tall i had seen this cute black velvet bench from cb2 to go under there and girl the 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 bench was higher than the west side so i was like dang it ain't gonna work so we'll see but that's what i wanted to show y'all I also took the white flowers out. One of y'all had recommended that I take those out. I took them out because I wasn't really feeling like that either. But I do need to go get some more green to go in here. Um, I'm not going to lie. The more I come in here, the more I do not like those flowers in there. But for right now, they're staying because I don't feel like dealing with it. But I do think it matches a lot more now that I took that white out. And then somebody said larger or longer flowers in this vase. I'm laughing at being, But... I don't want anything any more tall, y'all. Y'all see how close that already is to there? I mean, the, the the chandelier itself is already slick a centerpiece. I don't want too much right here. So I think this is how we're going to leave it for now. I'm not going to bother with it anymore. Next order of business in here, like I've told y'all a million times, is a rug. Have I been looking for one? No, not really. If I see it, I'll get it. If I don't, I won't. But yeah, so that's all of our, our updates to... Um, that I needed to show you. Oh, I think I already, you know what? The other day I actually might have videoed the guest bedroom. Yeah, so I'll insert those clips now. Okay, so here's the bed. I think it complements the room very well. It looks really nice. The only thing is that we had to get rid of the box spring. I don't like to read, so I didn't read the dimensions of the bed and, you know, what kind of mattress and box spring if any would be required so the box spring and mattress in here were new so we just decided to take the box spring up to Mackenzie's room because Mackenzie has the oldest um the box spring and mattress from the old guest bedroom and that box spring and mattress needs to go anyways we actually had purchased her a new box spring and mattress but <laughs> it didn't fit her bed either it made it sit too high when we put both of them on this the um it came up to about right here so yeah it just have it just has um the mattress only as y'all can see kind of like right there so my mother-in-law if she's watching this you're the first guest to experience the new guest bedroom so if something you messed up i know it was you come with your checkbook baby i'm just playing <laughs> i'm just playing mama tab but yeah, um, I saw my husband, I was like, we need to get your mama some stuff to go in here. So when she comes, she can feel like, oh my gosh, I'm feeling welcomed in the new Buckingham Palace. That's what we call our house, the Buckingham Palace, because, well, y'all need to know all that. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Malia's toys need to go. As y'all can see, my husband has set up his workstation. <laughs> he has this big ass monitor sitting on here, um, but it's fine, at least. It's not that big, white, bulky desk that he had in here before. And then I did get a waffle towel from Target to go in here. I think it looks very spa-ish like. And then I put some cream, um, what do you call this? Hand soap in there. So that looks nice too. I like how you can kind of see the waves in it. I don't know if y'all, if that's picking up on camera, but anyways, it ain't that deep. So yeah, this is what this looks like. And I need to get her some shower gel to go in there as well, y'all. This guest bedroom, I've literally feel, filmed a couple of reels in here. One of them, if y'all follow me on Instagram, you already seen. Y'all's probably like, that ain't your room. But right now, my room is raggedy and my hair is so, I hate when I get my hair straightened and it, it's like so bone straight that it looks like it's flat. It has more body in the back, but 
in the front. I'm like, damn. Okay. I just. It's a lot of traffic. That's my mama in law. She loud though. She can't help it. She got it. She got it on us. Anyways, my mama loud too. Um, I bought this little leather thing off of Amazon to protect my desk from my computer. So I thought it was cute. It go with homegirl skin. It go with my skin. It go with the aesthetics. Go with that right now. Let me just sit this up here. I hope this don't bleed into the color of my desk though. I'm gonna leave it on my bed. So, come on, focus. This is what it looks like. So, I tried to get it to go with the aesthetics. So, you know, kind of like that brown right there. I just have these on top of it to try to get the creases out of it. But yeah, I think that's cute. Okay, so, by now, y'all have already seen the clips um, to go through. So, um, if you follow me over on Instagram, y'all saying that we did the... Um, we went to a wedding this past weekend, baby. So much fun. I enjoy celebrating black love for one. I enjoy celebrating love, but you know, it's nothing like some black love. Number two, being around like friends and everything and just having a good time, letting loose. It actually, this past weekend felt really good because like, I don't know about y'all, but since this whole pan started, it's been really hard to just live a normal life. And I think everybody is still trying to adjust to whatever their new normal is. So it felt really good to be at a wedding and just not be thinking about it, even though, you know, you still have to be careful, right? Um, but then on Sunday, we also went to, look at her, <laughs> her little bitty self. We also went to a hunger walk. And for the last couple of years, they've been having to cancel like, you know walks and runs and just things that you can do in the community to help raise awareness or um give back to those who are in need and it felt so good to go on that walk y'all know i am not a very active person i should be i should be working out i should be doing a lot more but this was so nice because we got to take the kids out we basically pretty much walked it started at mercedes-benz stadium we walked literally all through downtown and um it was just the weather was so nice i think it was like 80 degrees yesterday um before the walk started they had like all the food trucks and stuff out there they had like inflatables for the kids they had music people were up dancing and i literally just sat there for a minute like damn like i cannot believe that we literally had to stop all of this hold on y'all my arm's hurting Okay, I'm back. But yeah, I was like, I can't believe that we literally had to put our lives, everything we knew to be normal on hold because of this whole pan. And it just seems like everybody is slowly but surely starting to go back to normal. Um, you know, I'm not by any means saying like, go out there, live, be careless. Don't, you know, still wash your hands, sanitize, keep your distance, all that kind of stuff. You should still most, I feel like we, we should... If anything, this has taught us that we need to stop being nasty. But if anything, it should teach you like just basic manners. Like wash your damn hands when you use the bathroom, regardless of whether or not you sick. Number one. Number two, if you gotta sneeze or dismiss yourself. If you gotta cough or dismiss yourself. Don't send your kids to school sick. Don't send yourself out somewhere sick. You know what I'm saying? Like, and if you are and you have to go run an errand, put a mask on common courtesy anyways i'm rambling but um i just wanted to put that out there we had a really good time so i haven't decided whether or not i'm gonna actually include footage from the walk in this video yet um if i do y'all are gonna see it immediately after this clip so um i don't think there's gonna be a whole lot of home updates in this particular video um and then as y'all can see i was not able to record the um um get to know me video i had planned on having that up on Sunday. Friday, I was out of commission, couldn't do work, anything, because I had a really bad migraine. Um, I didn't sleep well on Thursday night, so I woke up with a very bad migraine. I'm breastfeeding right now, so I can't take any of my medication. This is like a, a unload session. This is like TMI, so bear with me. Um, 
but yeah so i wasn't able to record the get to know me and then the wedding was on saturday the walk was on sunday so i didn't get to really do that much filming or editing um to have any video up on sunday so y'all are getting a video today on monday and um i am going to include the giveaway runner at the end of this video um because i haven't chose the person yet i was supposed to let madison do it she's at school so that's not gonna happen but um yeah i think that's it and then my hair looks a mess i don't understand why my hair is so thin looking like, i love to get pressed but i want to i want to be looks bald you know all right y'all let me go say hey beanie we're at a little walk thing at mercedes-benz stadium downtown i'm gonna try to vlog a little bit um as part of the vlog that y'all are watching today but i ain't gonna make no promises look at her waving <laughs> i look a hot ass mess all right let me go copyright So me and Bean just came upstairs to her room so she could play while I was editing the video that y'all are watching. But I wanted to show y'all. I, I, you, no, no. You play with your stuff. I wanted to show y'all really quickly um, some of the books that I purchased for her. So y'all know in the beginning when I was doing the um, her nursery, I was saying how I wanted to get books that have characters that look more like them. So I had got this one. Little Leaders, Bold Women in Black History. Um, someone bought this for her, um, baby shower gift. I need you to know the ABCs of Black Girl Magic. So I thought this was cute. And this is actually, I want to say, a coloring book. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure where they got this from. I'm pretty sure you can find this off of Amazon. And then I got... I ordered this one. I think this was one that y'all had recommended. I am enough. This is one that I recently ordered. Um, the ABCs of Black History. 
she's literally right here trying to take the books down. Um, this one is When God Made You. I thought there was one more. It might be in Maddie's room. But yeah, I think that's the last one. No, ma'am, you're not going to pull down the decor. Yeah, I think that's all the ones um, that are in here. And then there's some other ones in Madison's room um, that she has. But yeah, it's so cute. Like, I'm slowly but surely filling it up. I mean, she has a lot of a lot of generic. Um, I just want these two to be filled with books. I mean, if it extends over, then that's fine. But um, look at her. She's about to walk behind the, what's her name? Bean. Get, bring your little thick behind over here. Um, I still have them in order of color. Not necessarily, you know. But yeah, she just has like, obviously your normal little nursery rhymes and stuff like that but i want it to be more books that matter look at that princess look at that but ooh, ooh. <laughs> girl come back around here come on this is hilarious she gonna be walking soon say hey you me hey you me all right y'all but anyways, I think I'm going to close out the vlog right here. This vlog is probably going to be 10 minutes long. But that's fine. That's fine. You win some, you lose some. Y'all ain't going to always get 30 to 40 minutes, okay? But, um, yeah, so on the next vlog, hopefully y'all be able to see everything that I told y'all about before. And, man, we got something else to tell them. Tell them bye-bye. Say bye-bye. We'll see y'all in the next video.